All right, what's up, car addicts? Welcome to the German car meet. What's up? What's up? Sorry for that delay there. I was just trying to get the thumbnail sorted, but we're good now. What's up? What's up? Any 10 FY bodies? Quite a few, actually, as you would expect from a recently released drift feed car. But but get this: when the SM722 came out, we had a bunch of those at, at the uh, a meet of uh, what was it a few months ago? And then when the Reinhardt came out, we had a bunch of those, right? But we have not a single Mercedes at this meet, <laughs> and only a handful of BMWs. <laughs> so you, that's how you see a lot of people go towards the new stuff. But uh, it's it's, it's, a co it's a coincidence. We do have a lot of Porsches here too. So how can I join? Uh, all the infos in the description. Let me see if Nightbot puts the how to join here in a few seconds, so when I can pin that. Avenger uh, Emperor hasn't been to a meet in a long time. The last one he was at was at actually the Reinhardt meet. So yeah, <laughs> a big car fan. Well, welcome. <laughs> and I I know not a single person brought a benefactor vehicle. Feb pointed that out, and I was like, what? You're right. <laughs> that's that's pretty insane. Can I please ask you a question? Can you tell me what you think about it? Um. Best per I mean, if it's something personal, I prefer in, in Discord. <laughs> Carmine hasn't been the same since Ep. Yeah, I know. He's busy. Edub's also busy. Nightbot's not working. What is going on? Uh, hmm. All right, hold on a second, guys. Nightbot is not working for some reason. Uh, rarely ever happens, but. Commands. Uh, timers. They're both enabled, so I don't see. I don't understand why this is doing this. Huh? That is weird. I'm sure it'll kick in at some point. Let me try unlinking and relinking. One second. I'll log out. And then. Ah, here we go. Ah, there we go. I got it. I got it. Now it should work. Sorry about that. Okay. We're good to go. Nightbot decided to disconnect itself for whatever reason. I've never spammed swing crew session so much in one night. <laughs> yeah, the German meets are always good. This one filled up. This is one of the quickest I've seen in a while. Today's meet filled up. Let me go back to the Discord here. It filled up in... Go back here... Filled up in exactly three minutes. <laughs> three minutes the session was full. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Alright, let's hop down here. Is that your blue Porsche? Yes, it is. I had that one for a long, long time. This is the one Emperor made this color for me. I think it's a. I think the, the base is a pure gold, I think. Uh, or a metals. I have to ask him again. He has a file of all the paints he makes for different GTA cars, but. Yeah, that's mine there. Um, so not a single Mercedes. I'll do a quick walkthrough so you guys can see all the cars here we have. Three minutes world record. <laughs> ah, see, Nightbot is working. See, perfect. Let me pin that really quick. Let me go boom, boom, and then pin. Good to go. Days when it used to take 30 seconds. Oh, my God. Are there any open spots? Currently, no, unfortunately. Uh, but if somebody lags out, I will let you guys know. I always do. But nobody's lagged out at this meet, so. We need a DLC in GTA where we can customize boats. I definitely agree with that. How, it, how am I doing? I'm doing great. Got up super early today for a cars and coffee meet IRL. I was kind of tired because I had gone to bed late the night before, but. Took a nap earlier and I'm fine, but I, I was I was when I got home I was like dead I was like I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything today, <laughs> but power nap and I'm good. Did you do Doomsday Heist last week? I did a few with Alan. Yes. Favorite street wheel in GTA? Um, the concave Mercies, obviously. Yeah. My dream car, 05 Ford GT. Been my dream car for a long, long time. Did you make sure everyone 
was in the crew there. Oh my god, Dorney. <laughs> the, the real life Carmi. How's the Viper? It's fantastic. I took it today to uh, to the the car meet I went to. That was fun. A very nice drive. The weather was pretty nice. It got hot as a, as the as it got later in the morning, but I left as it started to get too hot. I'm like, screw this. Is... <laughs> How do I check the description? Um, if you scroll down to the stream and you press show more, you'll see the uh, description there. Alright, so we're going to start reviewing cars here shortly, guys, so please stand next to your car so I know whose is whose. A driver's side door, preferably. Or the passenger side door if you're on the other side. Yeah, no, that's fine, because you guys are on the sidewalk. That's, that's good. Favorite car, GTA? Uh, XA21. By far. Love the XA21. Your favorite roof? I, I have to make sure I pronounce it right, because I used to say rough before, as, as most people do. And people were like, "No, it's it's roof," and I'm like, "Okay, it's 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 pronounced roof, like uh, the roof of a house, but it's spelled rough." Okay. <laughs> Car prediction video soon. I'm waiting for Rockstar to give us a teaser before I make up car prediction video. Dog goes rough. rough. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, I guess we'll start here at the center and then work our way out to the sides. So let's start with the first car here. We have ATL Slayer with a Comet Retro Custom. This car, it's been a long time since this car came out. This car came out, what, like, four years ago? Somewhere around there? It's been a long time. This car's been out for a while. But it, it's it's a good looking car. I know everybody, including myself, we've kind of wished that Rockstar would give us a clean version of this classic Porsche, but we never got one. So the only way to have a classic Porsche on GTA is with the wide body on it, which is insanely wide. Or the Comet Safari. Good point, Alan. Thank you. Yeah, the Comet Safari. Yeah, they made that one narrow, but not this one. Like they, they, they gave us everything in between except for the actual narrow, normal car. <laughs> but this is a good build. I, I like the baby blue. It looks fantastic. Good choice with the white deep dish wheels. I love the fact that you didn't choose a spoiler. Nice and clean back here. Very, very good looking build. Interior looks to be black with the blue matching stitching. Very clean. Love it. Great custom build there. Continuing, we got That Guy Ghost with the Comet S2 Cabrio. Beautiful white and red color combo here. I think that's gorgeous. And he's got the Hyper Fresh wheels, which look amazing on this car to kind of tie into the, the red interior with the red center locks there. Looks super good. Very, very clean. I wish you would have done the ducktail, but I know a lot of people don't like the ducktail because of the active spoiler, so I guess that makes sense. Even though with a ducktail you still keep the active spoiler, but I guess it does look more realistic without it. That's probably what he was going for. Vented hood too. Nice clean build. Love the S2. One of the... I, I, I just love the fact that Rockstar finally started making more realistic looking cars, you know? Um, and this was a great example of that. And the Cypher, another great example. So we got Boss Kazen uh, with the Cypher. Interesting color on here. Usually most people paint this car, you know, the common colors, white, black, blue, red. Um, but I've never seen one of these in like this gold color. Actually it looks pretty good. And then the color matched calipers on there. Maybe it's more like a copper, right? Like More like a copper kind of color, somewhere in between. Or yeah, like caramel, sort of. Very, very nice color on here. It's different. I like it a lot. I'm um, not a fan of the wheels, though, personally. I, I feel like they don't suit the car that well. But that's just, you know, my opinion, obviously. But it's it's really good-looking color on there. I like that. What's good, JDM? We got Sir Bats Gaming with a $1 super chat. Thank you, dude. He put the hot dog emoji. <laughs> okay. <laughs> very random. But thank you. I guess he's hungry or something. <laughs> Alright, we got Brian with the Candy Red regular 10F. Love it. Yeah, I mean, after customizing the, the 10F wide body and driving it around, I do personally like still prefer the, the narrow, like, standard variant over the wide body. Some people were like, oh, you know, the wide body's cooler because it's wide, but the 10F stock, look at how wide this car is. Like, in its regular form, it's already wide as hell, <laughs> especially from the back end. It's a wide car. 
I mean, look at it compared to the Cypher over there. It, it's not a small car by any means. And then just adding a wide body to an already wide car, it's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> and we, we couldn't even fit them back here between these, uh, these benches here. Look at how close this is on this side. From here to here compared to this. <laughs> it's, it's, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. So extremely wide. But all right, getting back to this one, he did like a matte red on there. Looks fantastic. A cheetah wheels, an alloy. Okay. Black stripes. Okay. You don't really see stripes on uh, Audi R8 too much, except for that one special edition. But is it mirror? The stripes not aligned. Okay, that was the angle. At this angle, they're not aligned because is the hood not closed all the way? What is that? That is weird. Is his hood damaged or is it just like that? That is so strange. I never even noticed that till now. And the stripes kind of like this. Yeah, look at look at this gap here. Like it, it's supposed to have the gap, but the hood sits like slightly higher than the bumper. I never noticed that till now. Huh? Weird. Okay. All right. Continuing, we got uh, bad sports with the. ADF Drafter. So, interesting. Is this, is this a chameleon color? Yeah, chameleon color. Yep, 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 yep. Very nice. <laughs> nice plate. <laughs> okay. Titanium exhaust. Carbon ducktail. Good choice on the wheels. Got the uh, <laughs> roof rack. Carbon spoiler. That might be a reference. Alan's saying this could be a stretch, right? But I, 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 Alan's saying that could be a reference. Whoever watches Fluffy, Gabriel Iglesias, that joke he made about the Germans, they were calling him out and calling him fat man unless he told them <laughs> the joke, you know, from the, the Indian episode. So I, it might be a reference to that. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if the owner wants to elaborate. It belongs to... Cordy, actually, Cordy Mans, my bad. So it belongs to him if he wants to elaborate in the in the chat. <laughs> okay, continue. We got Lewis, New York, with the Comet S2, with a really nice like midnight purple on here. This is so nice. That's a great color. Isn't there a color called something violet for, for the 992? I forgot the name of it. Ultraviolet, it is. Yeah, ultraviolet. That's a good, good color on there. I like that a lot. Very, very nice. Bat Sport, $2 Super Chatty. He says, check my plate. Did we review yours yet? I don't think we did. Oh. Furious 7. Oh! Oh! So, okay, it's a Furious 7 build. I didn't realize that. Did not realize that. My bad. My bad. Okay, so it's the R8 Furious 7 build. <laughs> okay. Didn't notice at first. I was like, why the stripes? But now I get it. Now I get it. So this is a beautiful purple on here, the chrome wheels too. Fantastic, fantastic build. Uh, let's go up to... I guess we'll, we're going to come back to this pink R8 because that's kind of a good... Let me go back over here so we don't lose these guys over here. Even though it would be kind of cool to like, work our way all, all the way around. Yeah, let's do that. Work our way all the way around instead. Um, we got a Cal, right? Cal 1906 with a... Really nice. Like, this is actually a nice pink. Like it's not an in-your-face hot pink. It's actually like a nicely done pink color. Like, this looks really, really good. Like a faded pink with the white interior, those wheels, the concave mercies. Of course, this is the 10F wide body. It's, it's it's still too wide. But you know what? On this build, it works. This is something you see from a a random YouTuber, right? They wrap the car pink. They do a custom white interior. And they throw some wheels on it and a ridiculous white body. And there you go. <laughs> That's how you get a ridiculous YouTuber car. <laughs> it looks good, though. I like it. Nicely done. And, of course, the twin turbos. You can't have it without the twin turbos. Nicely done. Next up, we got iRob, another 10F wide body. He went for the dark blue. Stock wheels... Eh, I don't know about the dark wheels. Uh, sorry, the stock wheels. He, and he has the stock wheels in black, so that's kind of cool he was able to get that. But what I don't like is how big the hubs are. They're just, like, oversized. They look really, really weird on this car. I just don't like how big the hubs are. 
And there's carbon in there? What? Oh, look at that. The spokes have carbon on the edges. I never noticed that till now. Look at that. What? I never even noticed that. These wheels have... Oh, they're full carbon. With blue? What? This full carbon with blue accents? That was part of this wheel? I don't remember that. Oh, okay then. I, I forgot that was even a thing. Alright. R8 V10 on the plate. Love it. Great spoiler upgrade like the V10 Plus. Super clean. Nicely done. And it's kind of subtle too. Well, he did go with the wide body. The, the kind of piece of sacks at the wide body. Back here on the diffuser. And the front splitter. Yeah, not bad. Next up we got La Talentoso with the tailgater, the OG tailgater. You never see this thing brought to meets, like, ever. <laughs> Very rare occasions. Even with a nice uh, blue on here. Kind of hard to tell with the lighting. Let me see what the headlights of this 10F. Oh, it's like a green. It's like an aqua, kind of? Like a greenish blue color. Let me get the flashlight out. Even though I hate the way the flashlight changes the lighting, but... Let's see here. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a great color on there. It's actually really, really nice. With the gold wheels, too. So it is like a green with like a hint of blue in there. Probably gasoline green pearl. That's why it's kind of throwing me off a bit. And the great choice in wheels, too. They look very Audi-esque. Great build there. Uh, let me get rid of this. There we go. Uh, we got Mailer with a red 10F wide body. Very bright red on here. This has to be an Epsilon base. Like, it has to be. This is a really, really bright red on here. Looks really good. Good choice on the wheels, too. The concave racers, they look fantastic. And I like how simple he went. He didn't do the front splitter upgrade. He didn't do the side skirt. Well, he did do the side skirt. Did he do the diffuser? Let me see. Oh, let me hop over here. There we go. Oh, okay, went for like a more standard looking diffuser. Nice build, really clean. I like it. Well done. The only thing I wish the 10F wide body had was engine cover options, you know? Like, they didn't they didn't do that, unfortunately. I would have loved to have seen, like, some carbon on the valve covers in addition to the red accents. That would have looked sick. Because, I'm sorry for hopping on your car, but <laughs> you see how it's, like, chrome on the valve covers? Like, imagine if that was carbon with those red accents. That would have looked nuts. I would have loved that option. It would have been sick. Or black anything but chrome I don't think the chrome suits this one too well but anyways go over here to the side we got uh, Tradex marks with a cipher okay you went for like the most wanted livery build okay like very track oriented on here with the wheels and the roll cage well the wheels not so much but the rest of the car you know the roll cage hood pins definitely like a full-on Track build, most wanted build, okay. Alright, next up we got Ricey Civic, another 10F uh, regular. I was going to say wide body, but no, it's a weird angle. That looks really good. The white with the white interior, the white on white, that's, that's gorgeous. I like that a lot. And the wheels, they don't look that bad, actually. It actually looks pretty decent. Um, not my first choice, but they don't look terrible on here. I love the white on white. That is so nice. White exterior with the white interior. Gorgeous. Very, very nice. Uh, continuing over here, uh, we got My Comet S2. So this is a color that Emperor made for me a while ago when the S2 first came out. It's a uh, modded, uh, I think it's a metals or pure gold base uh, Miami Blue Hex. Like the Porsche Miami Blue. Um, and then we got the 992 Turbo Yankton plate. And that's pretty much it. Yellow brake calipers, concave mercies, black interior with the yellow stitching. Basically like a nice 992 uh, turbo build, like my plate says. <laughs> but with a vented hood. I feel like that was kind of neat. It looks a lot better with that. And then the duct tail on the back. So, that's my Miami Smurf. <laughs> that's my build there. Um, over here we got lights with a regular 10F, candy red. Twin 5-spoke wheels, those are the Super Gs. Ducktail spoiler. Is this a modded color light? Because I see your like your accent plate. Oh, it's Epsilon base. Okay. Yeah, well, the lighting is definitely killing us back here, but <laughs> it looks looks fantastic. Let me let, let me shed some light on the subject. Let me see. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I see you now. Oh, that's really nice. Very, very nice. Love it. And then you went with the black interior. Nicely done. We got Dornier with a modded blue on this uh, EGT. You never see these at meets either, you know? Because, <laughs> I mean, uh, the unfortunate part, like, this car had so much potential, you know, to be, like, a competitive car with the, um, the Coil Raiden and the, what's the other one? The, um, the, the Fister Neon. But they just made it, like, terribly slow for whatever reason. They put it in the sports class and they just made it, like, really, really slow. I, I, don't, I don't see why. They should have just made it slightly faster than the Neon. The same way the Neon was slightly faster than the Raiden. It would have made perfect sense, but... As usual, missed opportunity for Rockstar, but... The car itself does look good. Great choice on the blue, love the hood, front bumper option. The wheels look fantastic on there, I like that a lot. Super, super nice. He popped his hood. Oh yeah, look at that engine bay. Oh man, it's got, it's got so much power you can't even see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, one of my buddies, he has a, a Tesla Model 3 Performance, but he, he uses that for, like, daily stuff. He has other cars. He has a Twin Turbo Viper, so he's still a car guy. But he bought the Tesla just to, like, have it, just for, like, daily stuff around town so he doesn't use up gas. And he took it to a car meet just, just, for, just for fun, and he popped open the hood, because everybody pops open their hood for their car meets, and he put a bottle of the V8 juice... <laughs> In the front truck. He's like, I got a V8 under the hood. <laughs> that was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Do that. <laughs> Love that on there. Very nice. We got we got Jack Vane with the Weevil Custom. Candy red. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Love the red wheels with the white walls. That's awesome. That's super clean. Not biased at all. <laughs> <laughs> Let me pop the door here. Does he have the... I, I hopped inside. That's that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Oh, he's got this interior. Yeah, it looks fantastic. This is very similar to what I did in my customization video. Very, very nice. We got a $20 super chat from Mustang Mach E. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate that. Was Were you the one that had your name as Mustang V6? Now you change it to Mustang Mach E? Is that the same guy? <laughs> Is that the same? Is that the same? You're changing it to, to, to the worst examples of Mustangs on purpose. Like a me like a meme. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. You should do Mustang EcoBoost next. <laughs> the Maki -E, though, that is the best one. That is that is the best one. Alright, we got Alan with the Weevil Custom. So you want for that a full-on rat rod build. Love it. The skull livery looks fantastic and of course on this car you can have all the skull options so he did the skull on the hood he didn't do the skull on the the, the little um, emblem on the hood though for the skull but what's your your base color is what again worn black nice full rat rod interior oh that's sick and the skull on the shifter super super nice well done I like that a lot eco boost f-150 <laughs> Oh my gosh. We got Rad with a 10F wide body. Man, those wheels look really good out there. Like, really custom looking. That's awesome. I like this blue too. This is nice. I like this a lot. And the white wheels really set it off. Normally, I'm not too much into like custom builds like this, but I do like this a lot. Color matched calipers too. Super, super clean. Well done. Twin turbo, of course. Love it. We got Mr. Dutchy Dutch, that's a good name, with a 2 euro super chat. He says, hey guys, love in the cars. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. Next up, we got Feb with a regular Comet. So, you never see this one at meets either, because obviously there's so many different variants of the Comet now. But the regular Comet is still a nice car. I love how you went with the white on white. I love the white wheels with the primary white. It looks really, really good. And he kept it kind of... He didn't do the front bumper upgrade. Um, is this the stock spoiler, Feb, or the, the custom one? The custom spoiler? Okay. He has a tow hook back here. So he has... That's one of the... I haven't customized this in so long. Is that a rear bumper option, I think? Yeah, rear bumper. 
and the oh, chassis upgrade, okay. Dual exit exhaust. That's nice. I like that a lot. Well done. We got Papa Big with the Fister Growler. Got the yellow. That looks really good. Great color on there. And then he has... I forgot the name of these wheels. They're in the street category, if I remember. They look really good on here. I think the stock wheels are the same, but they don't have the the bolts on it. Then the chrome accents. I think it's just like the same wheels, but full black. Looks really good. Sporter upgrade. Yellow stitching in the interior. Great car. I feel like it was definitely overshadowed by the, the Comet S2, though. But regardless, it's still nice that we have a nice Porsche Cayman in-game. Separately from the, the S2, so. Alright. Moving along, we got Shaggy. When I see this car, I instantly think root beer. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But this is the, one of the chameleon colors. With the gold... Oh, he has the glitched chameleon gold wheels, too, on there. You can see the color shifting. That looks sick. With the concave mercies. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. Maybe a white interior would have been nice. A cream interior. You finish off that root beer float. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it, it, it looks good. It looks good. The white body. Very, very nice. Uh, continuing, we got... I don't know how to say that. Is that... Oxivy? I, I probably butchered that. I apologize. But... <laughs> It's the O-X-I-V-Y, we'll just spell it out. Um, looks, is this gold? Looks like gold or is it yellow? The lighting, lighting, lighting here is terrible at night, but... Uh, I think it's a gold, like a yellowish gold color. Very nice. The deep dish wheels look fantastic on there. Very nice. The spoiler upgrade, twin turbos, of course, with the bumper delete. Giant front splitter, exposed intercooler. So you went for like a full-on either drift or one of those like crazy underground racing <laughs> builds. <laughs> Something in between, probably. Not a fan of the the Sunstrip, but I guess he was trying to go for that, you know, that um maybe like a drift build or something like that. Okay. Who do we got next? We got TJ the Great with a regular weevil. What color is this? Man, I'm telling you, man, the lighting. <laughs> Just let me get the flashlight out. Okay. Er, oh, there we go. It's like a brown. A brown kind of color? No, it actually looks pretty good. Very original looking. That's definitely what he was going for. He wanted a nice, like, original look. And I could see that. The color with the white walls and everything. And the interior is kind of like a tan. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very, very nice. Continuing, put this away again. We got Dan with a black Zion Classic. So he went with the black with the red trim. And then he went with the chrome ground rides, which actually looks pretty good. Not bad. I love the Zion Classic. This thing has a really nice interior, too. You can see there, it's not a copy and paste interior. I think only the Sentinel Classic and the Zion Classic share this interior, if I remember correctly. So, very. Very nice. Always love the Zion Classic. And it's nice and wide, too. It's a good-looking car. Drives really nice, too. Oh, speaking of a Sentinel Classic, <laughs> I didn't even notice. Let me just compare the interiors here. There you go. Very, very similar. It's the same interior, pretty much. So, Candy Red, Sentinel Classic. Got the Mercies on there in gray. Super nice. Look at that. A preview before we get the Sentinel Classic wide body. Maybe a week, two weeks, a month, or a month from now. Whenever Rockstar decides. <laughs> I, I, don't, I really don't see the reason why we needed a Sentinel Classic wide body. If you notice, this car already has a subtle wide body. Look at it. It's already flared. It's right there. There's, It's flared right there and right here. It wasn't necessary. We didn't need the wide body for this car. It's already wide body in its regular format, just like the real M3 it's based on. I, I really didn't see a reason for them to do that, but whatever. I guess another random white body car, probably with most of the customization being the same, but yeah, still a nice car regardless. Okay, we got this gray 10F. Did he lag out? Let's see. Oh, this guy lagged out. If this is your gray 10F white body, please let me know in the chat. Well, I guess it's more like silver. His plate is Audi, you two eyes. <laughs> Yankton plate, stock wheels. 
he did the sun strip. I guess he was trying to give it an effect of it being more like check in game phone. The 10F is don't trust nothings. He lagged out. Oh, well, thank you, Demon Slayer. Appreciate it. So don't trust nothing. This is his. So he did one with the sun strip. I guess he was trying to give it the effect of the windshield appearing to be smaller, but I, I just. I don't really like that too much. I don't know. I feel like it just looks weird to have the windshield look that small. I don't know. It looks kind of like a mailbox slot or something. <laughs> but even with the grays, it looks, it looks good. Not bad with the spoiler upgrade. Wide body, of course. Alright. We got Jonathan. Another 10F wide body. Candy red. Great color on there. Hyper fresh wheels. Super clean. A black interior. Okay. Not bad, not bad with the vented hood option. I mean, th this car is like a love and hate for me. I, I, I don't hate it. I just prefer the the regular 10F a lot more. A lot, lot more. <laughs> this is this is also another car that wasn't necessary. We, we didn't need a 10F wide body, but. It is what it is. It's kind of an excuse of Rockstar to say, you know, we, we added more cars, but we actually didn't. We just gave it another variant. Mm. But, yeah. It's green. This can't be green. What? Is It's... Okay, it's like a grayish... Like a hint of green in there, I guess. This lighting is really screwing with us, but... I suppose it is... Have a, it's a nice color, actually. Got a hint of green in there, okay. Next, this guy lagged out too? What? This guy lagged out? Oh my gosh. So the great 10F lagged out. And this blue Growler lagged out too. Who does this belong to? Growler belongs to that guy Mitch. He had to leave. Oh, okay. So, this is a good color on here. Kind of reminds me of, um... That Sally Special Edition. That, that... Not the car, but the color. <laughs> it's the really good looking blue. A bit darker though. I like it a lot. And then he did all the carbon bits on it, the hood, front splitter, uh, rear spoiler. The spoiler's a bit big. <laughs> Maybe he was trying to go for the Cayman... What's the name of that Cayman? It's the GT4 RS, I think, right? I think that's what he was trying to go for here. Looks fantastic. Very, very nice. Got another 10F wide body here, but some belongs to Iron Weasel. So he went for the full German livery <laughs> on here. So split the black on this side with the white on the other side. Of course the Fook livery, because Rockstar sense of humor. And then he's got the bumper delete with the weird looking diffuser upgrade that I talked about in my video, which seems like that, that would not be stable at all. It, it's literally held on by the brackets that attach it to the top of the bumper. And then, I don't see it being held on to the bottom portion. So what, it's just hanging there? <laughs> it's hanging there like a swing? I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. But apparently Rockstar does, so. <laughs> okay. Pretty good build there. Uh, next up we got Demon Slayer. Wasn't he already here? What? Oh, he sent me the message for the other guy. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> so he has the white 10 f wide body gold. Oh, so he did the uh, glitched chameleon gold wheels with a like a light tan interior, white body of course. This looks pretty good. Not bad. Those deep five spokes look pretty insane on this thing. Twin turbos back here, of course. Bumper delete. That's a pretty sick build. Not bad at all. Over here we got Sile. So he brought the Sentinel Classic. Okay. Got the black. Why does this door look... This door looks like it's a different color. Why is that? Why does this door look gray? What, this car has all these carbon options? What? I don't remember that. I have to recustom. I don't remember that. His hood is carbon. His fenders are carbon. His quarter panels are carbon. His spoiler is carbon. What? These were options on this thing? I don't remember that. I don't... I don't remember that. What? It's, it's literally almost full carbon. His license plate says carbon. <laughs> I don't even remember that being an option. It has those options. Wow. It's been a long time since I've customized this. I'm gonna have to look through it before the new one comes out. That's pretty sick. And, and seeing this kind of makes me sad how we don't have uh, a carbon as an option 
to paint cars. Now, there is a reason why, because the weave would be, like, larger and smaller on other panels, so it's just going to look ugly. So the problem is to get the weave to be the same size. Uh, but, yeah, that, that's the main issue there when it comes to the, uh, the carbon parts. Nice. But I think I think we reviewed all of them, right? Yeah, I think we reviewed all of them. So let's do a quick little walkthrough. I'm gonna pick my top three favorites. Unfortunately, it's raining, but it is what it is. What's the car called? That's the Sentinel Classic. And we have the wide body variant that's gonna release um, next week or the week after, or the week after that, sometime in the month of November, hopefully. <laughs> That's all the builds there. So, top three favorites. Oh boy, okay. Well, this is gonna be tough, but let's walk through here again. Oh man, it's so hard like every week to pick these because there's so many good cars and you just can't pick them all, right? <laughs> and then there's some that you like more than others or some that are like almost the same. Uh, it's, it's, it's really difficult. But, man. Okay, let's start off. Hmm. <laughs> this is so tough for this specific one. Alright, you know what? Let's do a 10F. We'll mix the regular 10Fs in there too. So let's start off with a 10F. So let's quickly, really quick, let's look at all the 10Fs again. Let's glance over them. We got this one. We got this one. Uh, we got these two here. We got this one there, that one, the pink one, dark blue one, this red one. We got a yellow one over here. We got the, I call it the root beer. <laughs> this one here. Uh, this blue one here. And that's all, of, oh, and then this one here. This is, this is light. Wow, a lot of 10Fs. My gosh, okay. <laughs> Hmm. But this does look really man, it's so tough. It's so tough to pick the favorite. I don't know why I like the pink one so much that's over here. I, I it's it's just a really good color. And the white interior. I think it just needed white wheels. I feel like that's all it's missing. Are the calipers gold? That's sick. This thing with white wheels and white concave mercy would have been perfection. Oh man. Man, that is... Oh, that's so tough. That's so tough. And then one with the Chameleon Gold wheels. They look really, really good too. This one. You can't pick them all. I feel like flipping a coin or something. <laughs> Your meats are always the best. Thank you, Takumi. <laughs> Appreciate it. Sorry for taking so long to decide on a car. I I'm really close between Rads and that pink one, honestly. I'm just trying to decide which one... I'm looking like everything as a whole. I do like the wheels, like in white on this one. The exhaust option looks pretty sick too. And you just have the pen stripe. Just by a little bit, I mean like ever so slightly, literally neck and neck. I would pick both if I could, but I I'm gonna go with the reds. This is a really nice blue, a really, really nice blue. But man, that pink one, that was, that was close. That was really, that, that pink one was really nice. All right, so. Second place, something that's not a 10F. <laughs> Second place here. I want to go with this uh, S2 Cabrio right here. The white and red, just absolutely love, love, love the spec with the um, hyper fresh wheels with the red center locks to match the red interior. Just looks absolutely fantastic. So beautiful S2, love that. And then third place. I think I want to pick one of the um, the Sentinels, honestly. I have quite a few here. The Zions. Hmm. Actually, I really like um, Alan's uh, Evil Custom a lot. The rat, he, like, he went full Rat Rod build. He picked the, the skeleton options really nicely and the shifter delivery. Looks really clean. The choice in, are these Bennies, Alan? I think these are Bennies. Yeah, I think these are Bennies. It looks really good. 
You know what? I'm a, I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with this one. This this is nice. Yep. This Weevil Custom right here. Very, very nice. So, those are my top three picks of the meat. Um, obviously, there's a ton of good cards here, but I can't pick them all. That's why I was struggling to pick them. So, we're going to do a little drive from here. Please wait for the car in front of you to leave before you start moving forwards. Um, so, let me explain here really quick where we're going to go. So we're going to head, like if you're driving towards the casino, if you guys want to pull up your map, if you want. Um, there's a soccer field right here. Soccer field. So the, the, the Germans do love football, as they call it. So that's where we're going to drive to. <laughs> so go ahead and start driving there whenever you want. Do like a, a half throttle if you guys can. Just don't go fast. my turn all right we're heading out we're headed out you do car meets in New Zealand Australian servers um, Rockstar servers are in every single country so it, it's all linked they're not separate But, you know, obviously it depends on what time zone you're in to be able to join at that, sp at that specific time. Those guys lagged out, unfortunately, so... The other three cars over there. Look, a 9F! Not a single 9F at the meet. The, the 10F is better, honestly. Headed over there in the rain. Well, an AI Comet is mad. <laughs> Oh, they're going a lot more than half throttle, jeez. Bruh, get that card to me. <laughs> World Cup. Almost there. Let's pick up some speed here. Whoa. Massive traffic jam up here. Alright, we have caught up. We caught up. Got that line of cars. It looks so sick. Read the rules. What's the PSN? So joining does not involve using my PSN. Well, for for one of the joining options, yes, but um, it's it's mainly you have to be in the Discord server, uh, request to be on our crew, fill out the form we have to be on our crew. So it's it's a few steps, but it's all on the Discord server. It's explained uh, very clearly there. If you're not sure. And if you don't fill out the form in our Discord server, you won't be accepted into the crew, so please keep that in mind. We're lining up, lining up. <laughs> some, guy, some guy went down. Okay, we're going down. Alright, yeah, let's just park up on the soccer field. Why not? Wow, that's a massive steep... Okay. We can definitely go down through here. There we go. Alright, we're gonna play Rocket League I'm with a Panto. I'm kidding. <laughs> Line up all the cars. We should do that one day just for fun. Play Rocket League with a Panto. This, the Panto's the ball. We'll use like insurgents or something. <laughs> Everybody getting down here. Oh, there they go. This actually it looks really... We should have done the meet here. <laughs> this looks really good. It looks really, really nice. Oh, is a gang attack here? Oh, Aww. Aww, rest in peace. It, it, always... Aww, always the case. Let's kill the guys really quick. Now it's a war, apparently. They got... The, they definitely mess with the wrong guys. There's just 30 people here. <laughs> they mess with the wrong crew. Combat MG. Gonna lock on. Wow, they're just getting absolutely ob obliterated. They haven't even spawned in. They're already dead. <laughs> oh, they're all over the place. Oh. How many? Oh, we got a lot of enemies remaining. 
Don't kill other crew members by accident. <laughs> Past. Well, that was quite quick. I got one kill! Yes. <laughs> Do it one day. Yeah, we, we should. That, that'd be fun. Obviously, the Panzer would get hit all over the place. It, it, it would be kind of cool to try to get the Panzer through the goal, right? And then we also have, like, uh... That, that would be sick. And then if the... And if the, if the panto gets out of bounds, then everybody has to stop where they are. We'll make we'll make some rules for it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get that ready. Uh, I'll make an event for that. I, I like to have rules on everything. I don't want to just do it out on a whim, you know. So we'll we'll definitely make something for that in the future. How many drift vehicles we got? What? What do you mean? Is everybody here? I think everybody's here, right? Or there's one guy over there. Oh, drift feed vehicles we got left. Oh, I think that's what he meant. How many drift feed vehicles we have left? So there's 12 total. We've gotten 11. The only one we're missing is the Sentinel Classic wide body, which could re could release on the uh, let's see here the 17th or the 24th, or that Rockstar could even move it into December, which I hope they don't do and give it to us on the 1st or the 8th of December. But have to wait and see. I, I personally think we'll get it on the the 24th. They're probably going to skip next week, the 17th, honestly. I don't know why Rockstar skips weeks. To make the uh, drift feed last longer, that's why. <laughs> Alright, we're going to start up our German racing playlist. So some German-inspired tracks. BMW track, Mercedes track. we got the Nürburgring in there, inspired track. So. And of course, long haul. Locked to German sports cars this week. Let's go ahead and start that up. German racing. Alright. Electric charger at SEMA. Nice. How did it look in person? I've heard it looks really big in person. <laughs> it's like abnormally large compared to like a normal Challenger or Charger. Especially for being a two-door. Okay. We'll do... Oop. Nine contact. Off current session. It does. Yeah. Maroon. Yeah, I saw the I saw the video of that one. Everybody joining up. This is the BMW track. So of course we're gonna put this one on sports. We'll do well the laps are really short on this. I think we'll do three. Yep, those are the band cars. Um, w w for this week, I'll do a special thing. Uh, you can use the 10F, and you can use the 10F wide body. So uh, I'll, I'll allow that for this week. Since the car just came out, I'll, I'll allow it. So um, those are the only two that are not banned from that list, is the 10F and the 10F wide body. Got a couple spots open. I'm going to start the countdown now. Minute, Minute to join. <clears throat> How are you level 1,000? I'm, I'm level 1,000 because I've had the same account since 2013 when the game came out. And then I've transferred it from three console generations. Because, <laughs> you know, GTA has been out since 2013. So it was an Xbox 360 account originally, my, my, my character. And then I transferred it to PS4, which, yes, you can transfer uh, your GTA character cross between... PlayStation to Xbox, uh, and then I had it on PS4, that's, that's when I did most of my grinding on PS4, and then when I, I transferred it to PS5, which is where it's currently at now, so, yeah. 10 seconds left. Nürburgring is one of the races, yes. It's Nürburgring inspired, so it's, it's mainly just a race in the hills, like those long sweeping turns in the hills. But it's not like, you know, an actual, like, stunt race or nothing like that. Are you going to do your car prediction videos soon? 
I, I'm I'm waiting for Rockstar to give us a a teaser for the DLC, just so we have some type of idea on the theme. I don't know. I don't want to just make a video without knowing the theme of the update, the official theme of the update. All right, so we're not doing Viper for this, obviously. I'm uh, gonna keep it German. Um, S2 is pretty slow, so I don't think the S2 Cabrio is banned. I think I might pick that. Yeah, S2 Cabrio is pretty fast. Yeah, so I'll pick that. I know the SR is banned, but not the uh, S2 Cabrio. Cypher is not that quick. Um, I mean, it is a BMW race, right? We gotta represent. Let's do the Cypher. The BMW. Let's see how we place with the Cypher. There's gonna be so many 10Fs. See a Jester race car. See an LG. I see a ton of 10F. Here we go. Jeez, the acceleration of that car is nuts. The elegies up here everywhere. I'm definitely the only person up here in a, a cipher. <laughs> go, cipher, go! Slalom. Come on, there you go. The handling. Oh, they're gonna get me in the straightaway. They're gonna destroy me in the straightaway. Hanging with two R8s right now. And a little M2. <laughs> the little M2 that could. Go Cypher, go! A little late on the brakes there, but... Recovered. Oh, he lost traction. Come on, Cypher. Mid-drive. Let's go! One more lap. Oh, I messed up the mid-drive there. Come on, Cypher! Got a 10F on my butt. A little too wide there. I carried way too much speed into that. No, I'm gonna get wrecked by a skyline. Ah, oh, the last turn too, really, bro. Ah, oh. no, no, <laughs> the speed difference. Oh my god, I <laughs> got to destroy the acceleration difference. Um, oh, top three. That's not bad. I was the only person up here in a slow car. <laughs> That was pretty decent. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Not bad at all. My lap time too wasn't too bad. 52.8. Man, from first to third because of one corner. <laughs> it's crazy. Picked the wrong car. You should have used your high beams. <laughs>
a fan of K-pop? Probably not. Cypher, let's go. I'm gonna get the cops on you, Dornier. What? <laughs> Matt's gulping that water. <laughs> Have you heard of the Dota Media update for Horizon 5? I heard about it, but I heard it wasn't all that. It was just some random little missions or something like that. Alright, Audi Autodrome. Oh my, look at that. This this track was waiting for the 10 Fs. I'm gonna pick one too. Let's <laughs> do noon, noon, do noon, do con not contact, obviously, because we have too many people. Do three laps. Uh, crew member invites sent out. It's one of the worst updates I've ever seen in Forza's history. <laughs> we can't use HSW. You cannot. Thank you for reminding me. There we go. Pick the Audi Coupe. Oh, the 8F Drafter? Nah. That's too slow, isn't it? It's too slow, isn't it? Was the 8F Drafter even? I don't remember how fast that car is. Chat, 10F or 8F Drafter? Which one? 10F or 8F Draft? I could pick a 9F too. 9F, I could pick a 9F, I can pick an 8F Drafter, or 10F. Okay, I got the 8F Drafter already here confirmed. Uh, 10F, 10F is closer to the front, I think. Let's see. It's not, okay, back the other way. I see a lot of 8Fs, a lot of 10Fs. 10F is under T. Oh my god, Rockstar. First world problems of owning too many cars. Where? I didn't even get to it! Ah! I'm stuck with the 8F Drafter. <laughs> I'm stuck with the 8F Drafter! Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, owning too many cars. Rip. Rip, rip, rip. 10Fs are allowed for only this this meet, yes. 10Fs are allowed for only only this uh, this playlist. Because the 10F wide body came out, so. It is what it is. Let's see how I... Oh, I missed the boost, bruh. We're off to a fantastic start. The boost, like, lagged. Oh, the acceleration is pretty good on this thing, Alan. You're right. Jesus. Wow. My god, acceleration is really good on this. That's impressive, actually. That's a tight corner. Oh, he lost traction. Oh, that's a long sweeper. An electric car would dominate on this track. <laughs> The Neon would destroy us on this track. Man! Wow, 8 of Drafter, this thing moves. This is a good pick. I missed the mid-drive again. God, corners ridiculous. There's a long sweeper. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I could have been drive there. Rip. Another skyline? Really, bro? You can't pick something else? Oh, that's somebody else, I think. Got it this time. Wow, whoa, that was a really good boost. <laughs> Jesus. I almost understeered into that. <laughs> I 
I want to beat that skyline. I got to mid drive everywhere. Not up here though. That would have that would have been a mess. Oh my god, he's right there. Go away. I'll get you. I'll get you. Come on, that mid drive. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mid drive. My acceleration. Come on, Adef. <laughs> Get wrecked, Skyline. <laughs> Get wrecked. Get wrecked. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. <laughs> oh, that was perfection. Oh, that was perfection. He got me in the last race, so yes, I was a little salty. <laughs> That was perfection. That was really good. Yeah, that, that mid drive, that was that was what made the difference. I probably would have lost if it wasn't for that. Savage had <laughs> No Monica. <laughs> oh man. Isn't the Skyline JDM car? That's why I didn't want him to win. He's, he's the, the outlier. <laughs> The 8F is nice because it's Quattro. The 8F is all-wheel drive? I don't think so. It is all-wheel drive? I didn't even... Oh, I didn't know that. Never, never mind then. Let's go. Let's see what Ray... I think we got Nurburgring next. He almost had you. <laughs> Schlagen isn't banned, right? The Schlagen is banned. Is it? Alan, is it banned? You should know this one. Not banned? Okay. Alright. Nurburgring time. Not contact, of course. One lap, because it's an insanely long lap. We don't want to be here all night. So, <laughs> one lap. Crew member advice sent out. Uh, HSW disabled. We're gonna do um, sports for this one. I mean, most of the German cars are in sports, so to do it on super doesn't really make much sense. I mean, we can't use the Krieger. What other German sports car, uh, supercar is there? It's not not really many. So, I'm excited for this one. Same. I don't know what to pick. Somebody mentioned the Schlag, and I think that will be fun. I think I might pick that one for this race. It might be a fun one to whip around the corners. The Schlag or the um, what else can what else I can use the S2 Cabrio. I don't want to use the Feltzer. That's boring. Mainstream. Um, I think I might go Schlag for this one. <clears throat> that will be fun. Waiting to launch. Oh, this, oh, boss is joining. Schwarzer, that's too slow. I want a little bit of a chance. <laughs> no Emperor or Edub tonight. Emperor and Edub have been busy with IRL stuff for, for months. Edub hasn't joined the meet in a long time. Um, and Emp hasn't joined the meet since the Reinhardt meet. So, yeah. Been a while. The EGT? <laughs> oh, God, no. Let's go. See if I can actually get to my Schlager in time. Oh my god. First world problems. We actually need to do something about this. The sports class is too big. How the hell do you pick your car if you own a lot of sports cars? <laughs> look at look at this. I haven't even gotten there. We go. Now I'm on S. My god. Jesus. Oh, the SM722. Is that one banned or no? That one's kind of slow, isn't it? Huh. Which was faster on a track, the SM or the Schlagen? I don't even remember. I think the Schlagen was faster. Yeah. Oh, Schlagen time. Is that you behind me, Alan? Are you in the solar beam, Schlagen? Oh. Somebody else has a really close color to yours. Lewis, New York. Alright, Schlagen time. Your SM722 looks like mine. Nice. 
Whoa, 10F is fast. Jesus. Jesus, this thing has a lot of understeer. I forgot I had that much understeer. The mid drive is nasty, though. That's impressive. I gotta get used to the handling on this thing. The 8F Drafter would have been a good pick for this, too. But this one has a higher top speed. What did he had a tree? This is a tricky track. It's not not easy. Oh hi, Alan. Oh, he's got the what's it called? Green Hell or whatever. Green Hell Magno, I think it is. It's all on the hills. Let's go. Log in. Brakes. That's a that's a tricky corner too. <laughs> okay, this part I hate. I hate this section so much. Oh, I hate this section. Okay, okay. Nice and easy through here. Okay, hard break here. Oh my God, this is nerve wracking through here. Break hard here. Ooh, that's a tough corner there. My God. Jeez, I don't like this section. Ah! Wow. Jesus. Hard in the brakes. Go, Schlag and go! Speed! Another skyline? That's light this time, bro. We're not, our goal is to not, not, let, to not, not let. I can't even speak. Our goal is to not let the skyline win. <laughs> nice drive. I'm trying. On the go route. Boom. Come on, Schlagen. Come on, Schlagen. I believe in you. AMG power. No! No! What is that? What is that? I said AMG power and I lost traction. I... I will try to catch up. I don't know if I will catch up, but I will try. Bruh, AMG power too strong. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Get back here, light. Wait, who's about who's about who's behind light? Oh, that's Alan. Alan, don't let him win. Beat the skylight, Alan. German wins only. I guess I should have put two laps. I think we're getting close to the end of a lap here. Ooh, he hit a tree. He's gone. The skyline that could. Jesus. No! <laughs> How could you, Light? How could you? <laughs> How could you, Light? <laughs> oh, man. Still got the top three, but man. Oh, that sucks. That hurts so much. That hurts so much. Oh, the Schlagen drive is nice, but pretty easy to lose traction. Yeah. <laughs> Light putting the L screw. <laughs> Come on, light. <laughs> Come on, light. Oh, man. That was good. That was good. The, the LG Retro is a beast, man. And it's a lot more consistent than the, uh, the RH8. It's super easy to drive that car. And it's so, so quick. 
More power, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Beat a blue retro. Nice. Next up, we got the Mercedes track, I believe. And then we got Long Haul afterwards. The Supra is not banned. The Supra is not that fast. <laughs> it's only fast if you do that, um, I put the low grip tires and mid drive or whatever, but who uses low grip tires on a corner race? <laughs> I like how they're doing wide bodies and bennies instead of just the awful fitment. I, I guess, but they were kind of lazy with a 10F wide body. They, they didn't actually let us change up the wide body itself. Like kind of like the Spectre Custom, you know. Let us let us take off the bolts. Let us add extra pieces. The the, the 900R lets you do that too. Makes no sense why. I, I don't know. Typical Rockstar moments. All right. Uh, sports. Can do three. Yeah, three laps is fine. Uh, crew member invites sent out. Hope I actually get the invite. You will get the invite if you're appearing online. If you're not appearing online, you won't get it. You forgot about the Spe the Spectre Customs a good car, man. Love that car. One of my favorite Benny's cars. Just as the customization is just so good. Fourteen seconds left. Pick a coupe. I think. I mean, I already I picked the Schlagen last time, so I think I'll pick the SM seven two two this time, even though it is slower. But let's just see how it does. We'll go SM seven two two on this one. There's no other fast benefactors, right? Just the SM seven two two or the Serrano. So we don't have the Serrano. I don't think I have one. Do I have one? The Serrano not that fast though. Oh, the Feltzer, that's right. Yeah. The Shafter V12. Yeah, good luck getting this thing around this track. Look at all those corners. Forget it. Even though there is some straights, I think. Kind of. But yeah, no, the Shafter V12 is just a mess. We'll, we'll stick with the SM17 too. I don't want to just pick the same car over and over. I want some variety. Kind of ridiculous how long the drip feed's taking. I know. I know. And I said it too in my, um, my my Drift Feed vehicle video that I made when the DLC first came out. I said that they're probably going to skip weeks. People in the comments were like, no, they're not going to skip weeks. <laughs> Look at what happened. <laughs> Damn, that was a good mid drive. What is this speed section here? Oh, the shaft of each one would have done pretty good. Like, all throughout here, it would have done very well. Well, this car is... The back end of this car is really loose. That's some... The Schlagen is, like, pure understeer. This car is just, like, a loose back end. What the heck? It's like the complete opposite. I mean, look at this! What? What is that? Hey, you, you can't force it into a corner or it spins up. The Skyline guy again? Bruh. I should have picked the Schlag and I would have I would have been able to beat you, but not with this car. I'm, I'm riding in style this time. <laughs> yep. Joke. How many allergies? You gotta do this on purpose. <laughs> Look at three allergies. What is it? Well, four allergies. What the heck is this? Screw you guys! With the, I'm gonna ban the allergy next. <laughs> What the heck? Can this thing even take the sweeping corner? Oh, oh, oh my god, this thing handles like track. The SM722 does not handle well. They should have at least given it an insane top speed, because the handling kind of sucks. Oh, he missed a checkpoint. Rip. Right, not to force it. Get in the hang of the way this thing drives, even though it's really annoying. 
god. I feel like I'm driving a muscle car. This, this thing literally drives like a muscle car. Thing is a mess. God. Drives like a Mustang. Literally, oh, it almost drives like a Mustang. Terrible. I'm not liking this at all, to be honest. I mean, at least give it a really good top speed if you're gonna make it handle this bad. <laughs> Last lap. The back end, like, it, it, it goes all over the place. If you break mid corner. It just breaks traction. This thing is a mess to drive. It does the one wheel peel burnouts all over the place, like literally like the muscle cars, like like the Dominator. <laughs> this, thing, <laughs> this thing is a mess. Well, oh my, look at that! It just, you, you break while you're steering, like, wrong, it, oh my god. Look at that, this thing is absolutely wild. Well, if you want a Mustang in the sports class, the SM722 is your car. <laughs> oh my god. What a mess, this car. Watch, I'm gonna force it here on purpose. But, like, the back end just wants to come out. Just, it's just a mess. Weird, weird, weird car. I, that's the first time I've driven it on a track, uh, in a race. Now, that's, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Crazy. And of course, I lost to the two LGs, but it's okay. I would have picked the Schlager if I wanted to compete with them. <laughs> Fastest German car up here, followed by Schlagen, Feltzer, another Schlagen. Oh, that's M722 over here. Digital third out. I know, I've gotten third place like twice in Arona. <laughs> Dodge Charger Hellcat will definitely be the first car I buy in NFS Unbound. Nice, nice. I can't, I can't wait to play that. I want to see if it's actually good this time. Um, we, we set that up on like the past three Need for Speeds, and they all kind of die off after a month <laughs> because they don't do any DLCs, and there's certain glitches they don't fix. The SM722 looks like it should handle very well, right? But then it doesn't. <laughs> all right. Next up, we have. Our traditional long haul we do every single week, the last race of the stream. This one is already pre-locked to German sports cars. This is the wrong one. Oops. <laughs> this is the PS4 one. My bad. Let me... Everybody back out. I will invite you to the right one. I was like, why is it on Super? And I'm like, wait a minute. This is the PS4 one. Gosh darn it. I mean, I mean, invite you guys to the right one. Let's see, recently played. Uh, jobs. Re recently played. Why isn't it? Oh, here we go. Let's see if it's in here. I'm not gonna have to look for my bookmark jobs, which isn't a big deal, but. Oh, here it is. PS5. Perfect. This is the correct one. My bad. All right, all from last job invited. There we go. Uh, crew members also invited. Is there a Volvo in GTA? Is there a Volvo in GTA? I don't think there is. Well, the the Ingot kinda right, the Volker Ingot. I think that's the only one. I think that's the only Volvo. 
How do you get a PS5? You can get them. You just gotta... You just gotta get lucky getting one that goes on a, on a, a store's online website quickly. Um, or just pay a little more for it. Or you can buy a used one. Believe it or not, if you look on Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp or whatever app you want to use, you know, local listings, you'll find a lot of people that bought it and they're not really gamers. They just bought it to have the new console and they never really played it. They probably played two games on it and it's just sitting there collecting dust and they put it up for sale for what they paid for it. So there's a bunch of those for sale. I see them all the time. Like more than one PS5 listing. It includes two controllers, three games, and for like 500 bucks, everything. So, I mean, it's, they're out there. The job is private? It's not private. I think we had 26 in the last one, so I think we, I think we lost five people. It is res go t go t ten F wide body guys or regular? Which one do you guys think? Wide body or regular? Which one? I mean, I, I, yeah, Alan has a point. I already raced the regular one. Okay, wide body. Wide body it is. I'm probably gonna sell my wide body, honestly. I just prefer the look of the regular 10F. I'm probably gonna sell this car after this race. Here we go. Mid drive. Of course, we have non contact to the first checkpoint, and then it goes contact. Boom. I, I, I'm thinking of delete. This always happens. I'm thinking of deleting that checkpoint and then just have it do that for this checkpoint on the turn. I think that will be a lot better. Oh my god. Bruh. Oh, there you go. I fixed you. Kinda. You got a neon in here, bruh. But yeah, it's all driven sports cars in this race. Jesus, this thing is fast. My God. <laughs> wow, this thing is fast. With a slipstream, it's a beast. I'm schlogging up here. This car is so wide. Ah, excuse me. Oh my god, he died. Oh, that was you, Alan? Oh my gosh. <laughs> wide body everything. I like wide bodies when they're done right. To me, the 10F wide body is not done right. It's done, like, lazily. <laughs> but hey, that's just my opinion, obviously. Hello from New Zealand. Nice, nice. Ten F wide body. Look, you think I I just oh well, I disagree. I should do a pull. Oh, I can't do that while I'm driving. Can I? Hold on. Uh, start a pull. Um. Uh. Can't re. I can't type with the racing at the same time. Ten F or ten F. Is that an exclamation point? Hold on. 10F or 10F wide body. Uh, oh, let me get to a corner so I can put this. Don't text, that's literally what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, Boom! Pull was up. I want to know. Which one do you... I should have pulled which one you think looks better, but whatever. I pulled which one you like better. Uh, 
Tenet, regular Tenet is winning. The pool. Back end. With 63 votes. Ah, oh, regular Ted F. Hell yeah. 81 votes. Quite substantial margin there. Ted F looks better, but why body I like for a race car build. Yeah, but it doesn't really have that many race car parts available. There's no hood pins, there's no proper spoilers. I don't know. I think the rig stopped the count. <laughs> Not rigged. It's there, 100 votes, and it's 55 to 45. 55 on the 55% for the regular 10F. Yeah, Guy's lagging. His car's like going back and forth. Yee, yee, yee. It's back and forth. <laughs> Alright, we'll end the poll there. I didn't press end, did I? Whoops. Uh, go here. End. There we go. 10F wins that pool. Night shark meat? <laughs> what? According to Bruffy, the 10F wide body is slightly faster on a track. Slightly. <laughs> McDonald's Wi-Fi. Oh my god. Oh my god. This car has no brakes. <laughs> oh, that was a slipstream. That's what it was. I hate it when that happens. Like, the game gives you a slipstream right before a corner. It's so annoying and you can't break. Owie. Turn! There you go. Ah, no, why? Why does it clip into the guardrail? The Calico? The Calico is a beast. That car is way too fast for what it is. Like, it, it's, it, it's, it's too fast for its own good. <laughs> it shouldn't be that fast. At first glance, this white tied up in front of me, like at first glance, like if I do this, like, doesn't it look like a, a LFA, kind of? Oh, as I barrel off the track. Oh, my God. Uh... Merch. Good news on the merch. Website is, like, 99% like, done, so... Almost there. Just getting the final pricing for the uh, shirts and all that stuff, so... Almost there, I promise, guys. I will have it done before the end of this year. Catch it up, catch it up. Bruh! You messed yourself up trying to hit me off the track. <laughs> The key fob story on the band car list, yes. <laughs> band story list. <laughs> Jesus. We'll jump, why not? Ten F gang. Let's get in that slipstream. 
Alright, that's too fast, too furious, this guy. Oh, I hit him. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Did he save it? Oh, we gotta wait for him. Let's go, let's go. Alright, he's good, he's good. Oh, can't pass there. Let's try again. This side. It's so wide. It's huge. LFA in the game would be amazing, right? Right? I don't know why they haven't added that. Well, probably because they would. They don't. They know they're gonna mess up the sound. <laughs> That's gonna sound so bad. It would be ironic though, imagine if they add it, and then it's actually like the best sounding car in the game, like, oh my god. But, you know, it's Rockstar, so that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Risky route, let's do it. God, this thing does not like off-roading. That was brutal. Please, please, yes. Catch up, catch up. A RAV4 GTA? That would be interesting. Lock in, let's get the win. I'm trying, I'm trying to catch back up there. I lost traction there, Rip. Oh, it's two laps, so plenty of time to catch up. A guy in last place can still get first place, technically. <laughs> Sorry for your mom. Nothing happened to my mom. Or is he talking to somebody? I think he's, think he's talking to somebody else. Whoa, my God. What was that guy doing there? Jesus. He scared me. I was looking up at chat, and I look up, and I see... The German flag to that in front of me. Like, what the heck? We need the NSX. Yes, I agree. The first gen NSX. CTSV wagon? Oh my god, yes. Can they just give us a Strider but like normal? Please? Like, it's so easy for them to do. Not lifted. We need more wagons. Like we need a RS6 Avant, AMG wagon, CTSV wagon. People like the wagons. The Reinhardt I think was a good success. I think a lot of people bought it. Got schlagen up here. Good slipstream, huh? Oh. That schlagen sounds really good. 10F gang. Jesus, things flying. Get a little early on the brakes. Perfect. What's that in front of me? I can't even tell. Another 10F? What is that? A growl? I can't even tell from here. What is that? Comet? Or a growler? Is that a 10F? What is a 10F, I think? Render distance. Oh, what is a 10F? Okay. Oh, look at that understeer. <laughs> LC500. That would be a really good addition. Even though I feel like knowing Rockstar, they're probably like, "And hey, we gave you the vector. No more, no more two-door Lexus vehicles." Are we caught back up? Just in time. Jeep Gladiator. Eh, I mean, 
I guess the, the Kawasho kind of covers that, even though it's not based on the Gladiator directly. But yeah, because of the existence of the Kamacho, I doubt we would get a, a Gladiator. Gladiator 6x6. Six six. Ah, that, one's, that one's a possibility. In, in general, just a newer Jeep, right? The Mesas kind of suck. The Meriwether makes us kind of cool with the glitch, with the removed exterior cage, but doesn't really have any customization. <laughs> Imagine like a newer Mesa with updated headlights and taillights, um, lifted, maybe like a V8 exhaust note, like the 392 Wrangler, like that'd be sick. Proper customization. We're back in first, let's go. Trackhawk, I agree, yes. This side. Pagani Zonda. Yeah, I mean, the back end of the Infernus is like Zonda inspired, but a dedicated car would be nice. Yeah, the Typhoon on fire is sick. Venador, yep. Yeah. But at this point, the yeah, Venador is kind of like old now. now. Unless they give us like SVJ style one, but I, I thought we would get an Aventador in game. Selena 7. I mean, the, the Tyrus is a bit mixed with the S7, but it is more like on the race car side and more on the F1 LM side. The F1 long tail. Yeah. Mixed with the S7. Why didn't you post the time trial vids? The vids are, they, they just started to get like really unpopular um, in general. So I, I decided to replace that with an extra movie slash TV show build every week. So instead of doing one movie slash TV show build a week, I'm going to do two. And it's going to be um, Tuesdays and Fridays instead of just Tuesday by itself. I figured that would be better. Rockstar is due for my for a McLaren. You're right. The last one we got was the uh, Emirates. It's been a while. That was, I think the Emirates came out with the original Casino DLC, right? Yeah, so it's been a while. I mean, it, I, it would be cool if they give us a bro. What are you doing? It would be cool if they give us a um. What do you call it? A speed tail. Sorry about that. It'd be cool if they give us a speed tail. Even though knowing Rockstar, they're gonna reuse the model of the SM722 and give us the Artua or whatever it's called. That's probably the McLaren I I, I dislike the most is that one. I, I don't like the way that thing looks. Yeah, I, I don't like the way it looks. Nos. <laughs> I need Nos. Two of the big bottles. You're gonna blow yourself to pieces with all that Nos. Even though it doesn't explode. That's. <laughs> Tons of variety up here. Is that a regular comet? Damn, that's awesome you're up here, Light. Oh, it's an S2, okay. Yeah, the, the S2 is fat. Uh, SR, you mean. SR. Yeah. These 10Fs are no joke. They're, they're quick on the straights, but you have the handling. SBT Lightning, yes. 
Why don't we have that in game yet? <laughs> we should have had that in game a long time ago. And we have like almost all of Fast and Furious cars. Ram TRX. Who, who would buy that if they added in game? Would you buy a TRX if they added in game? I, I, I would buy like two of them. <laughs> not, not biased at all. <laughs> What's left for drip feed? Uh, only the Sentinel Classic wide body. I would, nice. Yeah, I go crazy for a ram. Yep, yep, yep. Three TRXs for me. <laughs> they should add supercharging sound to the game. That. That'd be kind of cool, because you can have the turbo sound every time you put the turbo upgrade, but if you can do, like, a supercharger sound, kind of like you can do with Need for Speed, yeah, that'd be sick. What had happened here? Oh my god, he messed everybody up, like... <laughs> oh, he hit you? Oh, my bad. We got Lamborghini with the Bugatti with a $5 super chat. He says, here I am again to donate to you again because you're one of the best people who make me happy. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you enjoy the streams of my content, man. Really appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Ah! This tube section is always, always tricky. Ow. C8 Z06 or GT500? That's a no-brainer, man. Come on. C8 Z06 all day. Why part... Oh, you mean what part of Florida are you from? Um, I'm in South Florida. I'm not going to say exactly where, but yeah, South Florida. Better get first place. I don't know about that. <laughs> Just... <laughs> These, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I have the car for it. The 10F is really quick, but I don't... It's all rolling the dice in the end. Oh, my God. Light. That was risky, man. <laughs> oh, I thought that was you that blew up. That was somebody else. <laughs> what's up? What's up? UFC is boxing, right? I'm sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't follow boxing or wrestling, or is that wrestling? Is that wrestling? Do you play any non-driving games? No. <laughs> the 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 only game I play that's like more arcadish is from time to time is Rocket League, but you're still driving a car, so. <laughs> what do you think will come off of the December update? What I well, what I think and what what actually gonna happen is two different things. Um, we got Lamborghini with a Bugatti with a two-hour super chat. The story time, give us a story. Oh my god! Thank you for the super chat, dude. A story. Okay. Well, I went to a Cars and Coffee this morning. Um, really early in the morning. In the Viper. Uh, I kind of went with my buddy, we were both following each other, he has the C7 ZR1. Insane car. And obviously, that car is stupid, stupid fast. It's literally the fastest American car in a straight line stock currently, so it's, it's a beast. Um, that, you know, production-wise, mass production-wise, let me specify. Nobody's gonna be like, what about the Venom GT? No, sorry. <laughs> Normal production car. Anyways. We decided to do a roll race, um, and I, I mean, I, I know I'm gonna lose, but he 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 missed uh, instead of downshifting it because it has like a delay with the paddles. He just gunned it, so it took a while for the transmission because he has the auto for it to shift into the right gear. And by the time that happened, I was already like gone. We did the honk, you know, one, two, three, go, and I pulled like two car lengths on him. And then he was finally starting to catch up, and then we had to break, because obviously we're going too fast. <laughs> In Mexico, obviously, yes. 
man, that was fun. But I, I told him, I was like, oh, that sucks. And he's like, hey, you still technically won. And I'm like, well, thanks. Appreciate that. But you were literally about to pass me like a freight train. <laughs> UFC has mixed martial arts, so boxing, karate, and more. Oh, okay. Uh, back onto the topic of a December DLC. What, what do I think they're going to add? Well, let's, let's first discuss the current rumors. Is, is supposedly, it's going to be a DLC involving Michael from Story Mode. Um, and the other rumor with that is that it's going to have something to do like a movie-themed DLC. So that, that's, that's the rumor. A movie-themed DLC involving Michael from Story Mode. What do I think they're going to add? I I don't know, honestly. I, I think they're going to add something involving the contract, um, like a part two of the contract DLC, because it, it says contracts. Like it, it's, it, it, That update was always meant to have more than one contract. Now, who knows? They might just like scrap it entirely, you know, not add anything else to it, give us a whole new DLC, but I don't know. I feel like there's more to that. Do you play GT7, Gran Turismo 7? Um, I mean, from time to time. Mexico, DC, and Forza Horizon 5. <laughs> Is there any date for the DLC? From Rockstar, no. But we know from the past, what, eight years, nine years, that it always releases between December 10th, or well, December 5th and December 20th, like within that window. And as of recent, it's always been like the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, somewhere in that range. And then GTA Plus bonuses end on the 12th. And then you won't start on the 13th. So Rockstar literally gave us the date of a DLC unintentionally, uh, which should be December 13th. Now, sometimes they have moved it to a Wednesday just to be different. So. 13th or 14th? One of those two. Oh my god. Yep. Oh my oh my god. I'm so nervous right now. There's so many cars up here. Oh my god, he landed on me. Oh he messed himself up. Oh, there's that, that, uh, LFA-looking R8 up here. Why isn't it giving me slipstream, Re? <laughs> what is that? Okay, now it gives me slipstream, bro. Okay, top three, I'll be happy. Oh my god, what is happening? You made that slipstream. No! Lie! What happened? Ah! No! <laughs> Bro, you hit the wall? Oh. Oh, man. That was going to be such a good finish. I would have won. I think I would have won. I was, I was getting that slipstream. Oh, rest in peace. Oh, I, I literally couldn't go anywhere, so. <laughs> is what it is. Look at that, 10 FY body, 10 FY body, 10 FY body, 10 FY body. All over the place. Digital 11 plates. <laughs> that might crackle though. <laughs> give me top, give me that top three, his last final words. <laughs> I know. I was like, yeah, top three, I'll be happy. Nope, 11th place. <laughs> oh man. It, it always comes down to the wire. That, that loop ending, that's what makes it more fun, you know, a bit more dramatic. Anything anything can happen. Alan! Alan won? GG, Alan. So you, you're, you're the one that passed all of us that crashed. <laughs> you, he must have been so happy. He's like, yes! I'm out of my way! I'm getting that, that first place win. <laughs> Moments before disaster. <laughs> oh, man. That was fun either way. That was a really fun one. Those 10 Fs are no joke. They're fast with Slipstream. My god. But anyways, guys, with that, I really hope you enjoyed the German car meet we had. Uh, and of course, the racing playlist afterwards. 
If you want to join the next event, all the info is down below in the description to join. Uh, next week will be PS4. The following week will be PS5. You know, we go back and forth every week. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great night, and I'll see you in the next one.